came to pass in the thirty and fourth year, in the first month, on the fourth day of the month, there arose a great storm, such an one as had never been known in all the land. And there was also a great and terrible tempest, and there was terrible thunder, insomuch that it did shake the whole earth, as if it was about to divide asunder. And there were exceedingly sharp lightnings, such as had never been known in all the land. And the highways were broken up, and many great and notable cities were sunk, and many were burned, and many were shaken, till the buildings thereof had fallen to the earth, and the inhabitants thereof were slain, and the places were left desolate. And thus the face of the whole earth became deformed because of the tempests, and the thunderings, and the lightnings, and the quaking of the earth. And behold, the rocks were rent in twain. They were broken up upon the face of the whole earth. For behold, they did last for about the space of three hours.
Oh, wait. I'm here at the Global Warming Conference in New Delhi, where if you can believe your eyes, it's snowing. The coldest weather on record has thrown the city into chaos. What's going on? What's going on? Earth will literally crack open, and you will feel it on the East Coast.
when renovations on the Salt Lake Temple are completed, there will be no safer place during an earthquake in the Salt Lake Valley than inside that temple.